Welcome, welcome everyone, it's time for more Starfield, where last time I went to a planet Procyon 3, I think, and I got my first power. Which is a power I don't exactly know what the hell it does. I mean, I know what it does. It creates a low gravity field that picks up rocks that aren't there, which is just lovely. I think I can... I mean, it doesn't even affect my jumping ability. Like, this is how high I jump without it. And if we just wait a little bit for the power to come back. Should be done right about now, I think. Bloody hell, I don't. I shouldn't need a full bar. We need a full bar? I don't think I need a full bar. There we go. If I jump here, it's the exact same height. I have no idea what the hell this does. But I had an idea, which is... Oh, I think that's... You uh, got affected, which is lovely. Ooh. An alien tick display. Why would you want that? Anyway, I think... Uh, well, I say I think. I don't know. Um, I had an idea, which is that it might be relevant for future temples. Because in the temple that we were in, we had zero gravity. We were just flying about. What if the next temple doesn't have proper low gravity or zero gravity? Maybe we have to use this power to make the temple work. Maybe there are basically future puzzles for this thing. That is what I'm vaguely thinking. Also, now I'm just uh, trashing the place, well, that's lovely. So yes, we have uh, brought more pieces to this. It's looking better and better. Uh, in the temple, we basically had what this is going to be. Three circles that are sort of moving together. We can see it because we have one circle here, one here, and then one here. So that is going to be how this is gonna look once we're done. So, in this episode, um, I'm thinking we're gonna keep on going with the temples, because um, while I did say I wanna start doing side missions after I had gotten my first power, the power that, that I have gotten isn't good. So I want a power that is actually, you know, useful for something. Now if we go into our um, our thingamajig, this is all the powers that we're going to be getting. We we can have five more powers on this inner circle, and then there are is it? Uh, it's like eight different ones on the on the uh, other rings. So quite a lot of powers. It says uh, six undiscovered temples. I don't know if we need just those six temples for. All the powers or not? Not 100% sure. We can also talk of, there we go, power names, anti-gravity field. Yep, that's kind of terrible, so I want more. But before we do any of that, I'm going to go and have a bit of a chat with my mother and father. Because my dad sent me a note a while back, and I didn't do anything about that. Now my mother also has sent a note. So I should probably go and just have a chat with them. And, you know, sort of brush that off for now. Because, you know, I do want to see what they look like. I do want to see if they uh, are reminiscent of my character. And I look, you know, sort of like that. By the way, I have a lovely poncho as a dress right now. So this is what I look like. Are they going to be at all similar looking? That is what I kind of want to know. But before we do any of that, uh, we're going to go back into here and mm, into our... Uh, perks and skills, I unlocked research methods. Why? Because I want to get down to weapon engineering. And uh, the interesting thing about weapon engineering in this game, obviously, is that, well, actually, that's the same as Fallout, now that I realize that, yes, you all unlock the actual skill and then you have multiple ranks. I want that one. I think I want spacesuit design as well, and it is not impossible that I want outpost engineering too, so... I didn't really think too much about science from the beginning, but now I realize that, yes, we might have to go down this path uh, in order to be, you know, doing the fun stuff, which is creating our own stuff and modding, etc, etc. Uh, so, in order to get that up, we need to create some things. And um, I only created one, because I, I missed that uh, the industrial stuff actually didn't count. Uh, what I can do, uh, I said I shouldn't be doing it, because it's costing stuff that I want to keep. We can do at least a bandage. It is sealant, yes, and fiber, but it's only one for each, so I'm gonna say that's fine. Uh, so we're done with that. Let's not do the other one, because that's uh, the last one of the one that I want. Now, 
how does this work then? I have my anti-personal coachman, which I kind of like. Doesn't have a lot of mods or like any mods. So I could presumably go for a short barrel. Do I want that? I actually don't want that. Um, can I have a laser sight on it? Ooh, that is costing <clears throat> good materials. A reflex sight. Can do that one. Uh, muscle. I can do a compensator. Yeah, we can do that one. Compensator. So, presumably, yeah, that adds to it. Now, the question is... Muscle. If I now go to, let's say... Let's say... Uh, 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 this one. And go for... Well, like, exactly. I can't go for another compensator. That's not gonna work. Uh, but alright, then fine. I basically can't do anything other than that, so that's uh, not a thing. Okay, what else do we have? For the one that I'm actually using, this one, it already has so many things, but barrel, we can't go for a long barrel. That's fine. Add a bit of mass, but uh, we add range and accuracy. That's good. And presumably, yes, that, that actually counts. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that's about as much as I want to do with this one, I think. I don't want to uh, upgrade down, so to speak. So all of that is fine. Now, which is the other one? Uh, I think it might be... Yeah, that one. We can add not the barrel, because we've already done that. Can't... Mm, okay, you know what? Let's get out of here for now and go over to space suit um because i have my uh, 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 uh. is this the one that i'm using yes that's the one that i'm using can i do uh, can I, could i do anything because i don't think i have no i don't have anything for that sadly and for the backpack ah right oh no i can do that one i can do that one uh, oxygen reserve. That's lovely. So let's just get that in there. And there we go. Research met methods has been maxed out. So now we don't need to do anything until I get the next level up. And we can continue going. It's gonna get tricky to get to four, though. Am I going to take medicine as well? It wouldn't hurt to get medicine. I don't necessarily think I want the other ones. But also, right, grab jump. What I need is to be able... No, that's grab jump. I don't care about grab jump. That's completely pointless. I say that. It might not be completely pointless, but I think it's completely pointless. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll give it a bit of a think, because um, rare resources and stuff like that might not necessarily be a bad thing, so... And that, that is presumably also quite easy to level. I'm going to assume that it levels up by mining. So, yeah, we might give that a think. But, but also, um, this is not a bad one. Uh, because while 10% fewer resources to craft is, you know, it's okay. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the other way around. Completing research projects, uh, the materials for that is lowered, that's fine. However, crafting, that's very, very nice. We, we can get down that down by 60 damn percent. That's quite a lot. Uh, but all right then, with that said, activities. Uh, we should go and have a bit of a talk with my parents. So Pioneer Tower, where the hell is that? Is that in here? It is actually in here. Well, isn't that lovely? They are actually in New Atlantis. So we can go that in, uh, go that. Go there immediately. How lovely. All right, and we are in a new district, the, the residential district. Yes, indeed, brand new. So uh, Pioneer Tower to in that direction. That's where we're going. Reliant Medical and Apollo Tower. Well, I don't think we need to go and check that right now. We can do that later. So we are going over here into Pioneer Tower. It's been a while since we had a chance to catch up. I'm doing That's lovely. Which uh, tower is it? I have no idea. All right then. Well, let's make our way in there. Anyone we need to talk to here? Just a bunch of citizens. Okay. Can I? 
reports. Can I? I All right, then let's mind. drop a save. Hello. You I'll take your credits. Thank you. We do need to level up uh, pickpocket a bit more. So absolutely. This is just lovely. I mean, the background always is a bit annoying, but uh, you know, what can Remember you do? Remember the crazy eh? surprise? It was almost pure vodka. That was one hell of a night. Hello, Lucky you. you have a mushroom on your head. I don't remember anything uh, after the second glass. Oh, Not you're one a named thing. person. Hello, Markeith Sutherland. Bleh. Well. <laughs> All right, then. Hello, Gesundheit. I did not sneeze. I groaned. I just don't understand why such a first-class restaurant can be satisfied with serving second-rate coffee. Of course, it could just be my palate. It's quite refined, which is both a blessing and curse. I mean, why are you blacking at me, then? So, all right, then. What about better coffee? Where would you find that? Funny you should ask. I recently dined with a friend of mine with ties to the Free Star Collective, and he claims the best cup of joe he's ever had was in Aquila City. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yes, although I doubted him at first, but then... He showed me the proof. In his hand was a single coffee bean fermented in the digestive tract of an alien beast. But that sounds like a lot of mumbo yambo. All right, and well, I mean, yes, and I mean, that that is actually not necessarily bad. All right, then I assume that you want the beans then. Yes, you would be replacing the man I hired. I had him seek not just Ashta, but predators throughout the settled systems. But it seems after consuming the beans, the beast decided to make a meal of him. So I need someone to find this beast and remove my property from its stomach. As for compensation, you receive 2,000 credits when the job is complete. So bloody hell, someone who actually mentions how much money I'm gonna get. I mean, I'm gonna do it just because of that. All right, then, fine. Where could I find the Predator? The man I hired had a transponder on him. When the Predator consumed him, it also consumed the device. Rest assured, I'll have all the information forwarded to your ship's tracking systems. That would be very lovely, yes. And what about the person's remains, then? Shouldn't we be doing anything with that? Not at all. The risks were written into his contract. I am not responsible for his burial or the unpleasantness of his tomb. I mean, sure, I suppose. I didn't write your contract, so what do I know? All right, then, I'll get you some coffee beans from an alien stomach. Excellent. I will have the coordinates sent to your ship. Lovely. So, all right, then. Uh, what about the terrible coffee? Isn't that good? I know you didn't just say terror brew. Surely my ears must be deceiving me. Because to even imply that I would put that liquid garbage into my body is an insult I cannot tolerate. Well, I didn't say you did it. I just asked about it. All right, then what about the dawn's roost? Is that where we are? It is, as the saying goes, to die for. And I mean that quite literally. I think the most commonly requested meal for those on their deathbeds is a Jemison Wellington. Ooh, you are salty. I like it. I trust it. you know the way out. I mean, it must be where we are. Why are you here if you hate it so much? All right, then. Does anyone see me if I... No, I don't think anyone does. What do you have on you? You have money and uh, ammo, but we'll just take the money. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you. All right, then. Well, that's so lovely. Some of suitcases are just here. All right, then. Uh, let's go and have a bit of a chat with my parents. Maybe I can pickpocket them, too. Who knows? All right, we have arrived. Is this... Are there multiple apartments here? Is that what we're learning? Yes, there are multiple apartments here. Who, who, who lives here? Oh, who, oh <laughs> who lives here? Well, it's the elevator. This is just a foyer. So, um, hello. Knock on the door. Oh, blood. wow. That's, that's a weird way to open a door. Hello, mom and dad, or at least dad. What's up? What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. 
I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, daughter, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Well, let me tell you all about it. Do they look like me? Possibly a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. Well, uh, indeed, it's actually better than all right. I have a new job with Constellation. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. I mean, all right then, fine. You're making me blush. Hey, if I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like, no one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the girl catch her breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Well, isn't that lovely? All right, then. All right, then. This is kind of nifty. So we have an apartment. They are living very snazzy, I gotta say. This is the kind of future I want. I'm going to assume that this is my apartment. So I have a, a globe sculpture. I wouldn't call that a globe necessarily, but okay, fine. I suppose it is. I have some of these regular things, some board games, a baseball, I apparently love football, United Colonies Pulsars against Free Store Collective Trailblazers. I mean, this is also one of those weird things, isn't it? Like, if this was actually real, like we had these uh, major factions, there wouldn't be like one team from the. I mean, un unless we're talking like the national teams, is that what we're talking about here? But I mean, Trailblazers and Pulsars, that's, that, that's not national teams, those are, th those are uh, league teams. And there would be more teams in the United Colonies, like, like the United Colonies would itself have a league. <laughs> Bethesda are sometimes thinking very, very, very small in their communities, I think. Uh, we have some plushies, I mean the plushies in here, they can just li live here. Apparently, I'm thinking about the uh, the ever watching eye thing. I'm a jig. I'm not sure why you would add a heart into an equation, but whatever. We have more plushies, Galactic Cat, Easy Slip Shoes, oh, a box with a wooden puzzle box. Cool. I'm stepping down. I can't stand her. Are we looking for solutions or sympathy? What? Oh, what's this about? Fred from the poker group said 90% of all marital strife would go away if you just know whether you need to offer help or a friendly ear. Fred's a wise man. I suppose sympathy. Then that Regina is a monster. There ought to be a law. Damn straight. Constellation sounds magical, like a storybook. That's actually really good advice, by the way, yes. All right, then, this is kind of nifty. Is this like a communal thing or something, or is this specifically yours? No idea. Uh, but all right, so that that was... Oh, you have... You have the washing stuff in the kitchen, sort of on the side. That's more of a British thing. Are the UC British? I don't know. But let's check out their room. They have uh, the uh, the regular stuff. Gotta say, I kind of love the stuff the over here. All day. I've been reading. It's good stuff. It's about... You should get some exercise. I've spent my whole life in a book. I'm fine. And how has that worked out? Ouch. Touché. We are going for a walk later. I think I mommy's a bit tough on dad, again. don't you think? And here you are. Ooh, lovely, lovely TV here as well. All right, then, do we get anything more information from you? I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. But how is it for real? You liking it? 
I mean, it's kind of good, actually. Uh, yeah, still wrapping my head around it, I suppose. It's funny how you can live years where the days all blend together. But then out of the blue, whammo, everything's different. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Oh, damn it, I missed the cake. All right, then. Well. And indeed, oh, that's a nice sentiment. You told me life was uh, life is a classroom, so you'll never, ever retire for real. Look at that smart mouth. Where on earth could you have gotten that from? <laughs> Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but... I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. I absolutely am, actually. But uh, what are your plans well, now that you're retired? Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother's been sending me links all day about such-and-such -such deals and excursions. But it'll be good to get out. That is actually uh, a cool question. Where do you go on vacation uh, right now? Like, are there proper va proper vacation slots in um, on on Jemison? That's kind of nifty to uh, to uh, ask about. Oh, I can remove the kid stuff trait. No, no, no. I can send the money. That's absolutely fine. Anything you need? You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. I mean, I'm making You've got that same loads blank it, expression as my students in the classroom. Bloody hell, give me a moment to think of it. So, how are things in general? Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost miss the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but... She got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Not that I mind. You should probably do something about the hair. Oh, you're very, very distinguished in that hair. All right, then. Anything good to watch tonight? I mean, I have no idea. I want to watch it sometime. But I want something light, upbeat. I, uh, was thinking maybe muzzling me? What? That little Ashta cracks me up. And it's just cute. It's funny. What the hell are you talking about? Are you getting senile, Dad? Sandra, All right, then, Mom. Me. No, no, no. I still We're can't talking. Get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. I mean, that's not really what I am about, I don't think. So nothing to report just yet. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. I mean, I'm probably never going to have a child, but uh, let's not talk about that, I suppose. So, yes, I actually do appreciate that. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Well, what's the latest gossip? Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. Well, maybe you shouldn't talk about that, but whatever. So, yeah, what about moving somewhere cheaper? This is presumably a pricey place. Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so Full of culture and life. What culture are you talking about? It's like nothing, but sure, whatever. I'm happy to pay you a bit of money. So what are you actually doing nowadays? Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. 
dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. By the way, her lip movements is really, really bad. I don't know why, because generally it's actually pretty good, but her, sli her lip movements is completely off. <laughs> Not entirely sure what that's about. I Where missed you. And are you, are you literally dissing reading? Reading is awesome. Reading is absolutely, absolutely a great thing. Bloody hell, you're talking... Wow. Anything. What? Wow. <laughs> All right, then. Whatever. But there we go, we've visited our parents, it's actually quite cool. This is the first thing, I think, the, or the first time that Bethesda has done it like this. My, if we're talking, let's say, Elder Scrolls, that, th those uh, would be games where you could have parents, but uh, obviously the Fallout games haven't really been those sort of games, I suppose. But alright then, with that said, it is uh, actually time to go and find ourselves another temple so um where's wait where's the next step is that in ah is that in here yes all right so that why is that not a main mission that's kind of weird uh, all right then there we go that's where we need to be we need to go there we are up all the way over here, over in Bessel, and the moon over here, lovely, lovely. Can I, I mean, I should be able to just go here, right? Yeah, it's absolutely fine. So, let's uh, all travel over there and uh, hunt ourselves another temple. And here's the planet, let's start by doing the standard, let's uh, give it a bit of scan, oh, no, that's the incorrect button. There we go. Oh, it's actually already scanned, I see. Extreme environment. Oh, I don't like that deep freeze. All right, then. Wait. I'm not here. I'm over here. Have I been here? When, when was I here? Is that the... Wait. Is that where we got the... Artifact? Fact? Hold on, wait. <laughs> um, hold on. Isn't this where? No, that's okay. Well, okay, never mind. Uh, what we do have is actually a planet that's interesting: aluminium and iron. That is very interesting for an outpost. Maybe we do check this thing out. All right then, over here in the Argon fields. We apparently have the scanner anomaly, so let's touch it down and start exploring. Alright, we are down on the planet. We have some radiation, apparently. Oh, bloody hell. Stop being in my way. Oh. Someone else landing as well. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so we are doing the same thing again, then. We are. We literally have landed on Argon, so that, that sinks. We have a multiple location, because obviously we do. We are going in this... Okay. Well, I think I know where we're going. Uh, I think it's fine. But alright then. Let's uh, start scanning and stuff. Because we can still scan. Get some money, etc. Some nickel. Thank you for that. So could this be a... Uh, a place where we could get both... Uh, iron and aluminium uh, as resources that's an intriguing prospect now i did in the last um, episode mention going back to my outpost and doing some work there we'll see if we do that in this episode it might happen meanwhile let's just keep doing that scan the things that are here there doesn't seem to be uh, any any animals here so that's actually good a lot of weird animals in the last uh, last planet. Uh, you are scanned, that's fine. So is this sand, or is this something else? I suppose it's sand. Or like rock slash sand, I suppose. Uh, more argon. Bit of cobalt. 
as well. Lovely. So what are we gonna find here? And are we gonna have to fight our way in? Is that is that ever gonna be a thing? Fighting? Temple Alpha. First temple, apparently. Uh, which one was the first one? I don't remember. E Eta? No. Or Theta, maybe? I don't remember. It's built on Oregon, apparently. Alright then. Uh, do we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. There is uh, not a lot of gravity here, which is lovely. I do love very low gravity, after all. So, by any chance, are we going to have to use the power to get in here because of the, you know, sand or something? Well, it can seem to be... Bloody hell, I'm in the wrong place. Can I get over here? I can. Ooh. This is where we're going. Well, we seem to be able to get in uh, without it, so that's lovely. Let's get in and see if we have to do some puzzling or something. It seems to be basically exactly the same. So, uh, fine. We'll have to go around spotting these things. Boost up to you. Ta-da! Down to this one. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. We can get it. Ta da. Well, it's nice that it's the same thing. Oh, did I? That was not it, apparently. Where is the. Oh, this next one is. Oh, damn it. Okay, fine. Okay, got that one. Like so. Here, I mean, it's not difficult right now. That is true. I do wonder if the, we're gonna get slightly more difficult ones at some point. But I think I just missed that one. Hopefully, this is the final one. There we go. There we go. So allow me to step right into this thing. And we're put outside. So whatever did that do then? Personal atmosphere, oxygen, pure and clean, brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. Well, that seems, I suppose, good. Is it just to counter carbon dioxide or other things as well? I gotta say, we're gonna put that as, uh, as our active one because that does seem better. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing while we are here, uh, where did we have? We have our ship there. We have some. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, ow, no, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I wouldn't mind, well actually, you know what, screw, screw that, uh, screw, screw this place, because I think that this is mainly just Oregon, as we, as we see here. What if we touch down over here, doesn't seem to be any iron, sadly, but we can go there and at least have a bit of a look, because if I can find, again, as I said, a planet with both uh, iron and aluminium, I suppose nickel wouldn't be bad either. Let's, uh, let's see if this is an interesting place for a uh, an outpost. And for some odd, odd reason, we have arrived at the actual science station. My ship is way over there. Why did that happen? That generally doesn't happen. Uh, but I'll take some, uh, some stuff. A drum beat. Interesting. I'll pick it up. Uh, I am over encumbered, so that was stupid. Uh, I have some weapons that I think I can drop. Like the Urban Eagle. I do not need the Urban Eagle anymore. So I'll drop that one and... How much? It is valued a bit, actually. Uh, Alright, then what else, what else do I have that I can drop? This one. Yeah, that's the corrosive one, so I kind of want to save that one. Hmm. 
I should probably leave some more stuff, <laughs> shouldn't I, uh, in the ship. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Uh, what have, do I have that's like a okay, calm relay? I don't want to get rid of that one. Don't want to get rid. Yeah, see these I should have left in the uh, in the ship, shouldn't I? Because I do not want to get rid of any of these. I mean, I just eat one of you and we're fine so there we go so i just want to be able to reactive gauge cool. hey what do you think you're doing oh hello what the hell is going on here oh. uh, don't try that again you the new lab rat <laughs> you basically took oh i am not okay with that we're gonna have to reload so I had to travel back here, and now I got it in a very bad time, because bloody hell, it's bad weather. Uh, also, hello, Surely botanist. You can do. About what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I will steal your grapes, though. It's bloody hell, I'm not gonna pick up the weapon. I will pick up that one, though. I will pick up that and that. Uh, Alright, then. So the thing that I wanted to do here... Is obviously that's an airlock to get in. Do we? Now that I'm here, take it from me. You don't want to ask anyone around here about their research. They'll talk your ear off for hours. I suppose that uh, includes you then. I'm here then. So can... Well, actually, that might not even have been stealing. Uh, let's get in here. Uh, I have frostbite, so lovely. Uh, how am I encumbered? I'm not 100% sure. Do I really have frostbite on them? Bloody hell. Did I really just contract frostbite? Bloody hell. Poor prognosis. Taking health damage, taking health damage expense 02. Alright then. Well, I don't think I have anything for that. Uh... Is it like three drops or something? Do I actually have anything for that? Uh, let's see. Do I have anything for that? So I am not 100% sure I do. I do! Heal gel! Uh, but actually, let's, let's check if I have something else. Or is that the only one? What about the snake oil? Is that good for this? The snake oil was not good for this. No. Uh, yes, okay, I did actually have something. Heal the L. Thank you. Frostbite cured. Lovely. So we'll just chill here for a moment. We have some smaller stuff. Who are you? Can't even talk to you. There I'm we go. glad someone came along. We could really use your help. We were performing some routine scans when a pack of the native wildlife decided that we'd make for a nice meal. It wasn't until we made it back that we realized that one of our crew was still out there. She must have gotten hurt in all of the chaos. We need you to bring her back. Can you do this for us? I mean, from the last uh, location we were in, we know that there isn't any natural wildlife here, so what the hell is going on? All right, then, fine. Oh, thank you. Stay safe out there. Time to get back to it. Then you literally change your tone immediately. But apparently I am, oh, I am over-encumbered again, just because I picked that bloody thing up. Uh, balls. I forgot to store this stuff. Um, not, not by that. Uh, anything that I can... I mean, I still have this one to eat. I ate that before. I wouldn't mind going back actually to my. Uh, can I? Can I? Hello. Yeah, I'll steal some stuff from you. Thank you. I uh, don't know why it didn't count towards my pickpocketing, but it didn't. Uh, anything that I can steal from you? There we go. Okay, soap dispenser, credits. Take the credits. Feels like my UI is actually not showing everything that it should. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, all right, then. I think we can get out, even though the weather is poor. I don't know why I landed here instead of uh, on my ship, because I'm probably going to get frostbite going back, aren't I? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in. Say hello to the lovely botanist and I'm just going to pass time until the bad weather gets uh, gets done with being bad weather. Well, it doesn't actually seem to get a whole lot better, so I'm just going to say screw it and we're going to go anyway. I'm going to drop a save. I'm just going to Beeline my ship if I can. I'm over encumbered again, obviously, so that's bad. But if I can just avoid. If I can just avoid the frostbite, I'll be fine. The only reason I went here was to just check for aluminium and iron. That old plan got screwed. So hopefully we can get out of here. I mean, it doesn't seem good to this place anyway, so I'm not gonna sweat it actually. So if I can just avoid getting frostbite again, I'm gonna just leave. I I'm just gonna leave. I don't care about the botanist or scientist or whatever that got lost in here. I do not care. Because I have more powers to find, dammit. So we're gonna go back to Vladimir. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I don't have to. Well, actually, wait. Can I go back to Vladimir now that I am, am over encumbered? How does that actually work? I don't remember. Uh, go over here. Go to the eye. Caring too much can't fast travel. There you go. There's the answer. All right, then. Fine. Run, 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 run. Don't get frostbite. We're going to be fine. Ship is very, very close by. The ship is very close by. I can dump some things once we're on it. I know it drains oxygen, but it's fine. Oh, crap. Run. Why am I... What buttons am I pressing? What? what, what what's going on here? Oh, am I... Captain Chris, I have you no idea what's going on. What? Why am I... Wait. How, how do I run in this game? Isn't it shift? Yes. I pressed shift and I didn't... I have no idea what's going on, but let's get on to the frontier. And also, yes indeed, Andreja is here. She's part of the ship. Everyone You're is. handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. Well, thank you. I try. Uh, all right, then. Uh, into resources. Uh, but my resources, please. Store them all. Perfect. Down to 97. Lovely. Should have done that before, shouldn't I? Uh... What are we using vacuum tape for? Because that is in miscellaneous. I don't necessarily think that we're using vacuum tape for anything in this game. Which is interesting. Uh, anyway, with that said, anything that I have that's uh, marked out uh, in here. All canes, that is the thing that I've been looking for. Organ, sure. Fiber, fiber tissue. Uh, metabolic agent. Ornamental. It's not a painting, which is what I thought it was. Ornamental. But we got that on the first temple planet. Ornamental. Why, why is it called ornamental? I don't know. Uh, structural material. Absolutely. It smells like wood. <laughs> basically. Uh, some tongues as well. So we have some of the stuff that I've been uh, uh, marking out, which is perfect. All right, and with that said, we can now get back to the eye and Vladimir. He hopefully has a uh, information about um, the next temple, because he could apparently only do it one at a time, which is a little bit odd, but let's go with what he says, I suppose. All right, then, back on the eye of Vladimir, we found another temple. Gave up my room in the lodge so Andreja had a place to call her own. Everyone needs space to let their thoughts run solo. Uh-huh, cool. Would you like to talk? Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. Uh-huh, cool. Powers, kinda neat, huh? 
stretches the mind to the far ends. Not sure neat is the word. Hard stopping might be closer to the mark. I mean, sure, he's just making light of the situation. Won't put the fault to you there. When you're outside, all known understanding of how things work. Best to keep smiling. Anyway, we'll be with you as we all figure what this means. Artifacts sure keep being a showboat of surprises. Uh-huh, so cool. We could ask him a bit more stuff about things, but let's not. We want another temple, dammit. Found one. Easy as a needle in the stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. Got enough egos in Constellation. Oh, I'm gonna be the biggest ego of them all, don't worry. Dionysus, well that's lovely. Is it gonna be a power of drinking wine? Because Hi. that would be lovely. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Yeah, because a base here is rammed by you. That's probably why. All right, and again, I keep forgetting that we don't have to actually go to the ship. That's fine. We need to go over to Olympus because, of course, it's called Olympus. Ooh, is that a double, a double sun or something? I mean, sort of. Uh, Olympus. Cool. Let's get over there. See what's up in that system. Alright, well that's an intriguing entry point to this uh, place. Some sort of issue going on with this uh, system here. Well, we'll start by scanning this place. Extreme environment, I don't like the sound of that. Whole bunch of nickel, etc, etc. Another science outpost. Alright then, well, oh, is there actually... Well, it's chlorine, not aluminium. I do see that there's no aluminium here, but still. All right, then. I don't know what the hell the other thing was. I'm not going to think about that right now. We are going to drop down here and uh, get a third power, which, depending on how long this takes, this will be the last thing we do in this episode. So let's see. Uh, go down and see what the... What the... Bad weather. It says extreme environment, but it is temperate. Hmm. Ah, radioactive potentially. Yes, that could be a bit bad. Well, it seems like the planet is actually extremely toxic. So the temperature is nice, but the area isn't. I get it. Also, we landed on. We land on. Nickel. Uh, so where are we going? We're going in Reading this Captain. direction. Wait. Is it there? No, it's not there. There, there it is. Again, we can easily see it. So let's hope that my suit is actually dealing with this. And also, this gives me a slight No Man's Sky feels with these crystals. Very common, obviously, in No Man's Sky. It's okay. What do we, what do we have in here? Again, it doesn't seem like we have any fauna here. Only materials. Very much nickel. Yeah, already. Oh, I have scanned you. Yes, there we go. Map updated. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I scanned that one. Start running a bit. I mean, getting the powers for now seems to be not too bad. And also, this is like another sandy planet, if this is sand. Very similar to the other one. But I suppose if I use my power now, how does that work with regards to the the badness of the place? Not 100% sure exactly how it works. Do I need to follow that? We have Temple Beta now, so that is uh, on point, so to speak. Oh, did the first one... As I don't remember the name of the first one, hello. Uh, as I don't remember the name of the first one, did that equal to like before the first or something? Because we have all alpha and beta now. What comes before alpha? Nothing, right? But I don't know. <laughs> all right, then we are going to try. This is. 
potentially a bit more trick, is it? Okay, how do we... Oh, we can we not get in here? This is not looking oh. terribly hot, is it? Hello? No, it's but Bloody hell, I'm still... I did the same thing on the other place. <laughs> it's actually very, very easy. Here we are. Let's get in and get our third power and see what it is. Now we're in and we zoom up and we do the same thing again. I suppose. I'm not gonna count on it being different. Which, uh, we're getting into the uh, point where it's a little bit annoying that they're doing the exact same thing over and over. Kind of takes away from the from the coolness of it, if you know. When, you, when we did it the first time, it was, it was new, it was fresh, it was a little bit fun. But now it's like, okay, we've, do we've done this. It's fine, but I need to do it another time. But, uh, whatever. I'll do it. Oh, that is not where it is. It's over here. Boost. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Make that one then. There we go. No. And I miss it again. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, I'm failing miserably here. That's good. Did I... Did I really miss it? Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna not go for that one. There we go. Go away. There we go. That's a better one. Thank you. There we go. Final one. Get the pompous music. And go into the thing. And we're dumped outside again. So, what did we get this time? We got... Gravity wave. Emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. Did I just get Fos Fusruda? Is that what's happening? Well, let's try it. I basically got Fusruda, didn't I? Well, that's the first sort of properly, properly useful thing, I think. All right, then we'll keep that uh, marked. I did also level up, which is perfect. We're gonna go for research methods. So now we need to do 10 unique food, drinks, drugs, weapon boss, or equipment boss. So that's... Uh, I need to set up my outpost or an outpost so that I have access to the different... Um, the different... Um, uh, the different stations, etc., etc. I kind of need that, don't I? Mm. Alright. Well, we'll see how easy that is going to be to do. Uh, I suppose. With that, I think we're going to end the episode. We are going to go back to... Uh, we're going to go back to Vladimir. I think I want to do, like, all of these... Um, uh, these missions that we're talking about now. Let's... Get, get, get me back, get me back. Uh, yeah, the temples. I think I kind of want to just do them, because uh, we still have four undiscovered temples, so after we've done that, let's call it quits on the whole power thing for now, and then get, get on with doing all of the gazillion missions that I have. When I say gazillion, but you know what? It's quite a lot. It is quite a lot of stuff that I have, so uh, well, those are the finished ones, but yeah, uh, there's there's a bunch of stuff that I can do. So we should probably get on that, shouldn't we? But yes, indeed, we're going to keep on going with the temples until we found those four temples. And um, after that, I suppose we'll see what we do. I do want to visit my dream home. That's true. I want to go to Neon. That's also true. That is all looking very cool, by the way, yes. Uh, all right, then, exactly what we do after the temples, that is going to be for the future, but um, for the next episode, it's more temples. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.